Hey everyone, welcome to another try-on haul where I talk you through it. I'm really liking the way I have things set up right now. This was originally going to be an Amazon fashion only haul. I picked out a few things that I thought would look really great for any kind of New Year's Eve party you may be attending or any kind of more formal dressy holiday event or even just winter event. But I have picked up a few other pieces of clothing over the last month or so that I wanted to share that didn't fall into any particular category except maybe it's good for winter. So here we are with an outfit that's not from Amazon. Let me back up so you can take a look. So this first outfit is from Chico's and let me back up and before I get any further into this, if you're not familiar with how I do things, as I try things on, I will list them down in the description box where it says show more and I put them in order of each outfit. I'll have outfit number one. I will have sizing, I will have prices, and I will have links. And if there's a discount code, I don't think I have any discount codes, I will put those where appropriate. Okay, let's get back to this outfit. So this is an outfit from Chico's. This is part of their Zenergy collection, which I love. Specifically, they have cashmere blend pieces. They are incredible quality. And what I particularly like is it's not 100% cashmere. So it makes it a little more affordable than straight up cashmere, but also because it's a cashmere cotton blend, it's a little easier to wear. I know there's a few people who just can't wear 100% cashmere, but the addition of cotton makes it more wearable. This comes in several other colors. These are two different pieces. So first we have, let me get a little closer up. My head might get cut off, but you don't need to see my face. So this is basically a black, more tunic length top. It does have slits on the sides. You could easily mix and match these. So you definitely don't have to wear these as a set. You don't even have to pair these in the same color, but I love the longer length. So I could also just wear these with leggings. I paired them with these joggers. They're a little higher waisted. My belly button's down here. And I could also, if I wanted to, you know, do a little tuck, I'll just pretend like I tucked it in, get a little more shape. I love these. These have um, really nice details. They have pockets here and then just a little bit of ribbing at the cuff. So technically these are a jogger style. Now I will say with the sizing on the cashmere line at Chico's, I feel like it runs a little big because I have the camel version of these. I'll pop a picture into that. I don't think they're, those exact pieces are still available, but I have those and the pants are in a double zero. Chico sizing starts z double zero, then goes to zero, then goes to 0.5, then goes to one, two. It's not the same as standard sizing. So I have the camel pants that I bought in 2019 in a double zero. And when I placed my order for these, I thought I have put on some weight. There is no way I'm gonna still fit in those, but actually I fit in them just fine. These are actually a little bit big. I mean, they are fine, but I think you can kind of see they're bunching a little bit at the ankle here. They should be a little more fitted. I always size up. Um, I would like my tops a little roomier. I'm a 34 double D, I need the room. So I'm wearing a size zero in the top and in the jogger pants. I love these, it's so comfortable. And if you're going to wear like loungewear jogger set, I feel like cashmere just takes it up a notch. You don't feel like you're just kind of schlubbing around. And then just to make it less casual, a little more dressed, I decided to go with mule loafers. And these are just from, I think these are from Amazon. It's great for travel, great for getting on a plane. I think it's been a while since I've been on one. Also excellent for road trips. I have one more thing to share with you that I got from Chico's. So Chico's was very sweet and every year when I work with them, they usually send me a holiday gift and this was my gift this year. This is a beautiful reversible Rwanda type wrap. So one side is this nice houndstooth, you know, black and white, very classic. And then the other side is also very classic, very Burberry-esque, but I thought it would look really cute either way, honestly, draped around this. I have seen some women style it where they wear it closed and put a nice wide belt around it. That's definitely an option. I like it just like this. Let me show it to you flipped around. And here it is if you wanted to wear it the other way out. So I just wanted to share with you another way to wear the black cashmere tunic. And again, you do not need to go run out and buy this exact one. But if you happen to have a longer v-neck black sweater, here's a way to throw in some metallic fun jeans, or maybe you have um, just some really interesting jeans that maybe have a pattern or they're that vegan leather. It's just, you don't have to have this whole, this is just a suggestion 
also on like how to put some things together that you may already have in your closet and you're like, oh, I have these statement jeans, what do I do with them? So here's an idea. It's not particularly original, hello, Rowdy. So I don't know if these exact jeans are actually available anymore. They are from Chico's. I'm wearing them in a size zero and they are not just metallic, sort of a champagne bronze, but there's also, I don't know if you're gonna see this in the camera or not. There is a pattern to it. It's sort of like, almost like a crackle lizard skin finish. It's interesting, I like it. Anyway, super comfortable and an easy, very, very easy way to dress up any kind of pants, just throw on some heels. Here you go, I've talked too long. Here's another way to wear the black sweater, a little less casual. Here I am with outfit number two and we're moving into Amazon fashion a little bit. And then after this, this gets progressively, well, no, not progressively. It definitely gets dressier, but we'll talk about that when we get to the next outfit. So this is from Amazon and I can't remember the brand, but of course it'll be linked. I'm wearing it in a size small. As with all things Amazon, this comes in at least a dozen different colors, but I love a deep green. I mean, it's just such a great color. This is super, super soft. It's a bat wing style, which basically means it has sort of thinner, tighter arms here, but then extra fabric here. The sleeves have some nice detail with this ribbing here in contrast to the more solid body. Very roomy, do not size up. This is a size small, has the slits on the side. I actually, I think I will have already posted the outfit pic that I took with this and I was wearing a totally different bottom half. I was wearing straight leg jeans, a little bit roomier. So don't think that you have to wear a big oversized sweater with skinny jeans or with leggings. If you pair the right shoes and just kind of the way it works, it will work over something a little bit baggier. But I do like this. These leggings are actually from Chico's. They are part of their Ponte Knit Legging Collection. They're famous for those. Those are one of their staple pieces. Ponte Knit Leggings, the difference is it's a thicker knit. These are not meant to be worked out in. Because they are a thicker knit, they do hide a multitude of sins like cellulite and bulges and jiggling and all that. So love those. And then I hope these shoes are still available. These I got during the anniversary sale. I can't even, I think these are from Vince Camuto. I could be wrong, so check the description box. It's just, it's a fun, easy, casual, everyday kind of look. Outfit number three is a lot of fun, and I put this together thinking of maybe you have a casual day at work, but you still want to add a little holiday sparkle. I figured the week in between Christmas and New Year's, to be fair, I haven't ever really worked in an office setting before, but I imagine it's probably a little more casual during that week, but you still want to add some holiday to it, or maybe you have a holiday brunch you want to go to, or you're just going to somebody's home, so you don't need like a full-on like evening outfit, but you still want that sparkle, particularly for New Year's, so there's this. Now, I posted this on Instagram, and I paired it with some metallic open-toed shoes, which are definitely going to take it up a notch, but I need to talk about these shoes because they're so amazing. So these are from the brand Sarah Flint. It's a brand that's new to me. I am now a brand ambassador for them. And these just arrived, and these are honestly the most comfortable high-heeled shoes I have ever worn in my entire life. And that's why I agreed to work with them. I miss wearing high-heeled shoes. I miss wearing stilettos and pretty pumps because they hurt. Even the best made shoes, after what, an hour, you're like, okay, these are starting to hurt. These shoes, totally different experience. They have a cushioned insole, they have a cushioned heel, they have a, um, a wider toe box, they have them cut for just the perfect amount of, they say, toe cleavage. The heel has a steel rod in it, so tons of support. It's just unbelievable. And these are just basic, you know, almost nude pumps, but they have so many options. These were gifted to me, but I just told Michael, I'm gonna go out and buy at least two more pairs to start with, because they're, insane. I do have a discount code uh, for $50 off and I'll put that down in the description box. But I have got to tell you, if you're on your feet for any length of time and you want to wear heels, you've got to try these. They're handmade. They're made in Italy. Unbelievable. They are an investment. These are not budget friendly, but if you're already in the market for higher end shoes, I will say they're less expensive than like my Jimmy Choo's, my, you know, that kind of level shoe. I think these are four or $500. So they're expensive, but they're not like 
designer. Anyway, okay, they're still expensive. Let's get to the outfit. So this first piece is from White House Black Market. I can't remember if I shared this in an actual try-on, um, but here it is. It is a pink velvet double-breasted blazer. I never wear my blazers buttoned, so what, I, I mean, it doesn't matter. I love all these little details. Look at these buttons. Aren't they adorable? Just a little bit of bling. I decided to roll the sleeves up. The pockets are functional. I mean, I wouldn't walk around with my hands in my pockets, but you can like tuck a phone in there or something, or a hand if you needed to. And just all the details, it's gorgeous. Paired it with this sparkly cami from Amazon. So much more budget friendly as opposed to the shoes. I'm not wearing a strapless bra with this because I never intend to take the blazer off, but just so you can see how it lays. Continuing with the blush pink theme, I really haven't changed anything, same jeans. I switched out my shoes. These exact shoes are no longer available. Same jeans. This is also from White House Black Market. They have the cutest stuff and not all of it is white or black, as you can see. Let me get a little bit closer. This is great because I can still wear a normal bra under it as long as it's like a nude or lighter color bra. It has this overlay, look at this, of these kind of sparkly, shimmery little dots all over it and it carries through to the back as well. But the whole bodice is lined. You can see it starts like that. The sleeves are open, but you can still wear a regular bra and it's not that annoying kind of camisole that's like just connected at the top and it's hard to get in, like it's attached. So you just slip it over your head and you're good to go. I like the more narrow cuffs here. They look like they're really uncomfortable, right? But the back, elastic. So easy to get on and off, banded here at the bottom. And then the back, I didn't fully button it, but it has two buttons at the top so that you have your you know, tighter kind of mock turtleneck here with a little bit of ruching in the front as well. And again, you could definitely dress this up. You could wear it under that pink blazer. That would be really cute. You could wear it with dressier pants, like black slacks or, or even like cream slacks would look really pretty, very elegant with a nude heel. But loving the White House black market stuff, you're probably gonna be seeing a lot more of that in 2022. Can we say festive? This top is definitely for a festive occasion. Now I chose it in red because I think it's perfect for December, for Christmas, for New Year's. It's, this is a statement piece. It's a lot of fun and what I love about it is it's from Amazon. So while it's a statement piece, it is not gonna make a statement in your bank account. Now, I think this top is great if you're already a curvy girl. It definitely emphasizes all the curves, gives you an hourglass shape, but the way that it's cut, I feel like if you're struggling to get some curves, Maybe you're not as well endowed. Maybe you're cut more straight up and down. This will give you a little bit more of a waist, emphasize a bust, give you some hips. I just think it's so fun. To me, it's screaming a little bit of Marilyn Monroe, retro Hollywood. As with all things Amazon, this comes in other colors, like I think I just mentioned. Love it. I'm wearing it in a small, definitely enough room for everything that I need to shove in here. Let me get a little bit closer. But I will say this, if you are a little bit bustier, the choice of bra is important. I wore this the other day with my usual um, Soma Wireless Endless bra, not the bralette, and it has some padding, and I thought I was gonna bust out of this thing. The one I'm wearing today is not padded, and there's definitely a lot more room. It also has a tiny little zipper on the side to help you get in and out. It's a lot of fun, very feminine, very flirty, nice little waist, peplum here. Here is the back. Obviously, you could pair this with a million other things, a gorgeous skirt, pants, you don't necessarily have to wear jeans. If you have the figure and the confidence to wear like Spanx leggings, if you're into wearing leggings as pants, then you can pull it off and a lot of girls can, I just cannot. I think this would look amazing too, but I'm loving this, this is a lot of fun. All right, for this outfit, oh, now he leaves. I was gonna say we we're joined by a special guest, but he is, he's probably gonna walk right back in the shot. Okay, so not a lot of change. Shoes that you've seen before, jeans that you've seen before. I, again, cannot remember what I have previously shared. I feel like I have two, three lives. I have my life on Instagram, I have my life on YouTube, and then somewhere in there is my real life as well. Not that I'm faking any of it, but you know what I mean. So, I've shared some of this on Instagram already. Apologize if you're seeing it again. 
Let me get a little closer so you can see the details on this blazer from Chico's. It's very reminiscent to me. Is it a blaze of like a, kind of like a, what's the word I'm looking for? Chanel type tweed. I guess I just see tweed and I think Chanel. But anyway, is this a blazer? Is it a cardigan? I don't know. It's a knit and so it feels like a cardigan, cut like a blazer. Um, it does, I just discovered, I've had this over a month and I just found out that it has a really cute little hook and eye closure here if you wanted to wear it shut, which I do not. So I love this, absolutely, I love all the little details, the fringe around the cuffs. I have also worn it rolled up, which is cute, especially when you have a shirt like this and you just pull the cuffs out, maybe roll them under once so they stay put, but you get the idea. Now let's talk about this shirt. This is just a nice basic blouse to have. I picked this champagne shade just because it's really basic, really neutral. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It is from Amazon and with all things Amazon, of course, it comes in a million colors. I will say this, it is not very generous with the fabric, which is why, whoops, I have mine unbuttoned so low because uh, I, like I mentioned earlier, am a bit busty and look, I mean, it is straining at the button. So I did unbutton it a little. I'm wearing it in a size small. I would definitely get another one of these blouses in another color. I will size up to a medium just so I have some more room in the bust. And the other reason is because it's short. So there's not a lot of extra material anywhere with this. So I would definitely say if you're concerned about being able to blouse it out or just having enough room in the chest, size up one. But this is, I think, a great outfit, if you tuck it back in, to wear to work as is, um, maybe on casual day with the jeans. Obviously, if you are in a more conservative or dressier work environment, switch these out for some kind of dress pants. This is my business casual appropriate outfit. I thought I would finish this off with a true statement piece. Now, I have posted this on Instagram, but I don't think still pictures do this justice before we get to the top, because I have a lot to say. Real quickly, these are just Spanx faux leather leggings, and then I'm wearing basically knee-high suede boots. If I could pick the ideal pair of shoes to wear with this, I would do leather, not suede, and I would do a higher, like not a chunky heel, but like a true more of a stiletto heel, but I don't have those. I need to add that to my list. Okay, so, but oh my gosh, this top. I mean, come on. Let me just walk through the screen. Hang on. You have to see it in motion. Let me come back. I mean, how fun is this? It's kind of like a mullet. Business in the front, party in the back, but not really. Also, just the fun details, the lantern sleeves. This is from Amazon. I'm pretty sure it comes in other colors, so like black would be just as cool, maybe not as eye-catching, and maybe that's actually possibly a good idea. But this is so much fun, and I will say there's little layers here that you probably can't notice. So there's this first layer, then there's this under layer, and the back actually is two layers of fabric as well. So there's a lot of movement. It's just, it's fun. You could also take it down a notch, wear it with skinny jeans. I still think that it would look spectacular with maybe even over the knee boots. How fun would that be? But that is the last piece that I have to share with you. Oh, and it is a small as well. Well, I hope you had fun. I had fun. I'm really enjoying being able to talk you through the outfit in real time as I'm wearing them. I may babble a little more than usual, but I really just, I'm enjoying just talking as if we are here in the room together, chit-chatting about stuff that we've picked up. Like that's how I think of you in my head, that you're all my girlfriends that I can't actually see and we're just talking like real friends do. So I hope you had fun. Let me know if any of these outfits caught your eye. The ones that are from Amazon, good news is you can probably still order them in time for your New Year's Eve celebration, but maybe you have something special happening in January, you have a little more time, or maybe you have something similar already in your closet and this just jogged your memory. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the fun that I have planned for us into 2022. I'll see you before the end of the year though. So have a great week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.